Hey everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to another mystery unboxing video. Um, I got word from Randall over at Max Q Rockets about a week ago saying, keep your eyes open, a box is on its way. And I said, okay, should I do anything to prepare? And he did tell me this, he said, get you some F motors. I'm like, okay, that's all I know about what's in this box is I was told to get some F motors, so I did. I've got some F15-4s and a couple F6s, 15-6s uh, as well, but um, my goodness, what a, what a statement to say, get you some F motors. That, that really got me excited. So that being said, let's see what is in this box. He said there's a couple new prototypes that he's working on and uh, needs some testing. He did say there are no instructions. However, um, the build is pretty typical of Max-Q builds. So, he said it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. So, this is it, the unveiling. What is in this mystery box? I just hope I don't embarrass myself and not know, have enough knowledge to know what's coming. And, uh, oh my goodness. I think I know what we've got here. Yes, yes indeed. Oh my goodness, I don't know about that other one yet. Let me, oh my goodness. Guys, look at this, an SLS, and I can just tell that by the decals, but look at the size of this thing. That's a, that's a three inch tube right there. Talk about an upscale. Oh my word, this is awesome. This is gonna be epic. This is an upscale version of his original NASA SLS rocket in a much larger scale. I'm not quite sure exactly what scale this is at, but I'm sure once he finalizes everything and has the documentation to go with it, we'll know for sure. Look at the size of that nose cone. Oh my word, that is awesome. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is gonna be cool. Um, uh, because I have built this regular SLS, I should be able to figure this one out. So we'll see how, how we can get that put together. Uh, now what do we got here? Uh, is this a spare part for it? Possibly so. Uh, we do have a fin can here, unlabeled. So, but no doubt that's gonna be the fin can we're gonna need for it. And what do we got here? Looks like maybe another updated version of the Starship. Looking to see if I notice any obvious differences. I don't offhand, but uh, it is this, uh, well, maybe it's the addition of the raceways he's added onto there. Very, very cool. I, I'm not sure if I recognize those raceways. No, I'm looking at the other one I've got. It has them, so I'm not sure. I'll reach out to him and see what the difference is between this starship and the last version of it. But uh, my goodness, I'm excited. Uh, it's, oh, it says version two on the decals. It does say version two. So let me find out more from him what that entails. Ah, I see. Check that out. So the, the um, I guess you'd call it the metallic portion of the fins is a loose fit. So those can be painted chrome and then glued onto the, the fins as opposed to them being part of the original print. I'll bet you that's it. Uh, I'll verify that with him though. So awesome. So we got a new Starship to build and let me get the box out of the way. And an awesome, I don't know what to call this size. <laughs> uh, is it maybe 170th possibly 170th scale? Cause the other one's 100 scale. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to, uh, you know, presume too much, but this is going to be epic. I cannot wait to get this built and flown on an F motor. That is too cool. And I would say of all the models so far, the SLS is possibly the best flying one. I've had the most uh, consistent straight flights with it. So if that's any telltale sign as to what this can do, this could be an epic. So with that, I'm going to, uh, in the video, I, it looks like I got some work to do here. Actually, I'm excited. I'm going to start working on them, get this SLS built, 
and uh, maybe get it airborne here sooner rather than later. So with that, everybody, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. God bless, and we will see you at the launch pad.